what's up everybody it's your girl Shantae back with another episode of chatting with Shantae how in the world are y'all doing me I am doing amazing even though it is hot okay I might be looking like a little glazed honey bun right now I am so hot okay I got my air going I got my little fan here so I may or may not cut her on just to give myself a little bit of a breeze I don't want to cause too much of a noise you know distraction but honey is hot okay down here in louisiana it is hot all right but as y'all can see from the title i'm gonna be doing a little review on auntie tab's uh sunshine seasoning that she just came out with and y'all y'all went crazy for that seasoning okay i did too but you know y'all went crazy all right because that thing sold out in 39 minutes all right so i'm pretty sure by now everyone's heard of it those of us who have ordered it most of us have gotten it already have tried it out or about to try it so from what i've seen from other people and how they uh use it and things like that everyone's seeming to love it okay even though the um blend was quite eyebrow raising kind of like hmm because it's things that you would never think to put together at least not for me but honey once you get a little taste test you think of all the things that you want to put it on and things like that so before i dive any deeper y'all like comment subscribe hit the bell so you're notified when i drop a video and let's get it let's go so a few weeks or two weeks before she actually um launched the seasoning she did a video like releasing it or announcing that it was coming out she revealed the packaging on it and things like that and it's so funny because she was showing us her seasoning well before that like a few months ago okay when she was in Chicago and she made her sunshine chili recipe she was using her seasoning and then she kind of alluded to it in a few other videos but of course we never knew so a couple weeks before uh, releasing the seasoning she did a video revealing it and things like that so I was thinking like most of us it was going to be released in stores and things like that so i'm like yes i'm gonna go up into this grocery store real quick i'm gonna get me a couple of them off the shelf and we're gonna be good but then auntie tab and mccormick said sorry baby girl it's online only i hate ordering things online okay i hate ordering things online i'm too impatient like when there's something that i want i want it right then and there okay i want to be able to get it right then and there. i want to be able to try it out try it on whatever the case is all right Ordering things online is so stressful, okay? I'm impatient. You know, you got to be skeptical, especially if it's something like clothing items and stuff like that. And then just waiting and hoping that the package gets delivered to you and nothing happens to it. It's just too much of a hassle, okay? But I buckled down. I was like, you know what? I'm going to suck it up and order this thing online because I ain't got no choice, all right? So leading up to it, let's fast forward to July 7th, the day before. I got to tell y'all a little backstory real quick because I've been stressed this whole process, okay? Oh, honey, I am glistening. This ring light isn't making anything better. But anyway, so July 7th, I'm excited, okay? I got everything together. Everything's charged up uh they had it to where if you wanted to be the first to know when the seasoning went live or when it was available to be purchased on the mccormick website you can put your email in baby i put all three of my emails in okay my two personal ones and my business email oh baby i was not playing with mccormick or auntie tab i had the post notifications on i wasn't missing this all right so get to um july uh, 7th right late in the evening I'm about to get ready for bed all right everything's set I'm excited and I had left my wallet <clears throat> on my couch and I was like but that's okay I'll just have to wake up in the morning you know when it's time to buy the seeds I can just come in here get my wallet order it you know things like that but right when I was about to get in the bed I mean I turned the light off I put my knee on my bed and a little voice in my head said grab your card just like that grab your card and at first I was like no I ain't gotta do all that but then I heard it again, grab your card. So I was one of those crazy people that slept with their debit card next to next to them in the bed. Listen, I have no shame, okay, because it paid off. I have no shame. So yes, I had my car right next to me. Everything was good. And at first I was thinking, oh, I might be able to order it at midnight. You know what I'm saying? But no. Nah. So I'm falling asleep, waking up every so often, making sure nothing's gone crazy, that I missed anything. So then after a few times of doing that, I looked on the McCormick Instagram page and they said, it's going live at 1130 uh, a.m., which was 10. 30 my time so i was like okay bet i still got a couple more hours so what i'm gonna do is now mind you i put my emails in to be you know in that first group to know when it was gonna be launched right remember that but i was like okay 10 30 so i'll set an alarm for 10 25 so that way i have five minutes i have a couple minutes to wake up log into everything make sure i'm good that way by the time 10 30 hits boom i can order my seasoning and roll back over and go to bed because this was still uh during my little vacation time from work which i'm super glad it was because honey but anyway 
So I'm like, bet. Okay, so I set my alarm for 1025. I go back to sleep. Thank God my body, <clears throat> excuse me, has gotten conditioned and used to waking up at a certain time. So I woke up at like 10 oh something. Okay, 10 oh something. Uh, at least it was before my alarm, right? Don't you know I checked my email and McCormick has sent the email at 9.48 a.m.? I didn't miss the email, y'all. I didn't miss the email by 12, 15, 17 minutes. Like, I didn't miss the email. I'm like, I didn't put all three of my emails in and I didn't miss it. So then I get on Instagram and I saw five minutes ago, you know, uh, Auntie Tab had posted, hey, y'all, the sunshine season is now live to purchase. I'm like... I missed this by five minutes. Listen, with things like this, these hot commodity items, you gotta be on it, okay? Five minutes, 15 minutes, you might as well give up. So I heard up and got on the McCormick website and <laughs> ordered that thing. It seemed like it took forever. Cause you know, like when you place your order, like after you put in your information, you hit submit order or place order. It has that page with a little spinning wheel that says it's gonna uh, automatically refresh. And if it doesn't, check back in a few minutes or whatever. So it seemed like that wheel was spinning forever. I was like, you know what? But it went through and it Thing like that so now this may seem like it was uh taking place over a extended period of time this was when within a matter of minutes okay literal minutes so i keep hop back on instagram after it says my order got confirmed and things like that so i look on uh, instagram on auntie tab's page and looking at everybody's comments and you know everybody's posting their confirmation emails and orders so i'm like yes we all got our seasonings yes 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 and then you know as you're scrolling through instagram comments sometimes it kind of does that little jumpy refresh thing so that's what happened and then i started seeing people say omg it's sold out i couldn't get it it's sold out and i'm like huh again this i had just received my email my confirmation saying thank you for placing your order right and people are saying at the same time it got sold out so now i'm nervous because i wasn't in the first group to get it i know i wasn't in the middle i know i was right at the end like right in that last group of people that i can admit i'm not gonna sit up here and say i was the first person to order hell no i wasn't i was right there okay they if they made 500 boxes i know i was like 497 okay so i'm like sold out oh my goodness so then she made another post saying y'all it sold out in 39 minutes oh my goodness i'm like 39 minutes i know i was at 37 minutes and 54 seconds like i know i was that close right so then i got nervous because i was like oh my goodness even though i got the confirmation saying my order went through you know there could be someone who got it before me or a few people that was ahead of me and they filter it out and I don't know so i was nervous so i wasn't trying to post nothing i wasn't trying to say yeah i got my seat i wasn't trying to do nothing people was making their videos i was like oh i'm gonna be humble because <laughs> listen anything can happen so once i got the email and stuff saying that my order got shipped i was like thank you that thing took forever seemed like it took forever for it to get here listen this ain't got nothing to do with mccormick or auntie tab they did their parts okay this has everything to do with usps all right for one, it was stuck in Illinois for a good 40 days and 40 nights. I was like, okay. Then once it finally got to Louisiana and it got in the uh, city, like the uh, last city before it comes to my city, it got there at 8.30 in the morning, right? It takes an hour and 45 minutes, two hours max to get from that city to my city. If you left at 9, okay, even 12, okay, you could still get to my city in an adequate amount of time and my stuff would be delivered by 5 o'clock. Why do I have to wait? So my first expected delivery date was uh, July 17th. Okay, that was that Saturday. Nothing because it had moved from the other city. I'm like, y'all got there at 8.30 in the morning. It takes an hour and 45 minutes to get here. So, and then, you know, they don't deliver the packages on Sunday. So I had to wait till Monday and I was stressed out. But I say all of that to say, y'all, your girl got her sunshine seasoning. Okay. It took forever. I was starting to worry and wonder who was driving the mail truck. Was it Tupac and Janet? Because listen, so, and of course it came in like the standard uh, USPS box or whatever. That's nothing cute. Um, but the packaging now listen, Auntie Tab is good for her packaging, okay? If you know her uh, hair brand, Donna's Recipe, listen, you know, okay? Don't mind my little stink. L listen, disregard that. But you know her packaging is cute, okay? She's going to have her name and her face on everything. So for those who may not know what the Donna's Recipe box looks like. 
so you got my auntie tab now of course this came with the oil too but since i'm still using my oil it's in my bathroom but i finished my uh bottle of gummies here but this is what it looks like that's irrelevant but yeah it's gonna be cute you're gonna get a little thank you card and some information so it's gonna be decked out okay listen auntie tab makes things like products that make you want to keep the box it came in all right so this was no different all right so then of course it has her name sorry this might be backwards because i don't have my camera flipped but sorry but it just says tap the brown over there <clears throat> and then of course oops i'll get that in a second you gonna see my you gonna see her face okay hello sunshine and then of course the card there's a little glare from the ring light but it just says hello there family thank you for trusting me to bring a little sunshine into your meals and life have fun with it and remember you can use as much as you want because that's your business all right love you tab this picture is gorgeous and then on the back she gives us a recipe for some shun say this five times fast for some sunshine chicken so with some shiitake mushrooms and things like that now y'all know auntie tab is vegan okay and i'm pretty sure a good chunk of people who order these uh seasonings are vegan as well or they incorporate a lot of vegan meals into their lifestyle um i'm gonna try this recipe don't get me wrong and i have other things that she's made that i'm gonna use it with too but it's also gonna get sprinkled on some chicken maybe a pork chop you know i'm not gonna sit up here and fake the funk okay i'm not gonna disrespect auntie tab and lie we ain't gonna do that okay so it's gonna go on a few different things all right so got that and then again so when you place your order you automatically got two of them which is awesome so here's what they look like so these are pretty big if you ask me these are pretty big seeds the uh size is 3.82 ounces so almost four ounces and you get two of them so here's the other one one of them are, i've already opened which one is it this one <laughs> so yeah so here's what they look like again and right off the bat, like when you're taking off the little seal thingy, even before you take the seal off, you can smell it. It's like, oh, all right, girl. So it is salt free, which is good. Okay. Cause you got to watch that salt intake child. So let's see. So the main four things that's on the front here, cause it is an all purpose seasoning. It says garlic, ginger, pineapple, and mango. So that's why I was like, pineapple, mango, garlic, ginger. Now where are we going with it? Where are we going with it? And I was like, this might be an acquired taste. What is going on? What's gonna taste like you know so i did a little you know that thing honey it's some red pepper in here as well listen the red pepper sneaks up on you just a little bit because you get that caribbean style for a second you and you taste every single thing like you you get a uh taste of each individual spice and seasoning and things like that but then that red pepper is like <laughs> what was said i'm like oh excuse me excuse me so you do get that heat that kick but it's not too much to where you can't enjoy it, it everything blends in so beautifully and that's why i was like i'm not sure how that's going to taste because it's so many different things like individually yes and some things together you know we use uh normally but when you put them all together it's like now i wouldn't have thought of that combination but it's pretty good so this is amazing i had made me a scramble because i didn't want to wait until i did a full meal to taste test it i wanted to try it out real quick so the night I got it, I made me a little scramble, or the day I got it, excuse me, I made me a little scramble real quick and I sprinkled it. Honey, that thing was so good. Now my scrambles are usually bomb anyway, but when I put this and you got the little sweetness from the mango powder, the pineapple, I think there's banana powder as well. Yeah, like, uh-huh. And then you get that little kick as well from the red pepper. You got the garlic. Oh, yeah it's like i was sitting up here humming okay uh check out my instagram chatting with shantae i did a quick little mini review uh of auntie tab seasoning that thing had me singing swaying everything all right so check that out but this is my more in-depth review which is not really an in-depth in-depth review because i haven't done like a full full meal with it just yet but i plan on doing that very soon so be on the lookout for that but y'all this is really really good and for those who um have ordered it we made it y'all we made it no i'm kidding but um nah so let me know how y'all like it if you were able to order it now if you weren't able to order it this go around they are currently making a new badge or about to start making a new badge for the restock that's coming in fall and when they say fall i'm like that's so far away but y'all august will be here in a couple weeks and you know <laughs> once we get past august we're right there in fall pretty much so uh it will be here very very soon but this excuse me i'm itchy um but this is making me nervous because we had only found out about the seasoning two weeks prior to its launch now y'all know she does have a book coming out like an inspirational book so pre-order that i know i did um and then she also has a cookbook coming out now i'm not sure how soon after her inspirational book 
the cookbook will, come, will be coming out. I'm not sure if it's the same. Like, if it's going to be 2021, 20, 2022, I'm not sure. I just know she has a two book deal and the second one is the cookbook. So, um, <laughs> again, we just found out about this two weeks prior and it sold out within 39 minutes. People have been wanting and requesting and demanding a cookbook from her for years. Baby, listen, listen, our A game, what's, what's higher than A game? Like, we got to be on our levels, okay? P's and Q's, dot your I's, cross your T's, like, be on it. Because, listen, that cookbook, when she announces that it's coming out and stuff, I just need, listen, I just have just, look, I'm just put it out there, okay? Just send me a copy. Listen, I don't ask for much, okay? I really don't. I really don't ask for much. Anything that I want, I get it myself, you know, and things like that, all right? But, honey, I'm sweating, Lord. Excuse me. But I don't ask for much, I promise, okay? I'm a very humble person. I like to believe that I am. But, you know, this makes me nervous for the cookbook release, okay? Because people have been wanting this cookbook for a good minute, all right? And if these seasons that we only found out about two weeks ago or two weeks prior to the release sold out in 39 minutes, please, you can just send me a copy. Like, that's all I'm asking for because, listen, I don't have time to fight with these people. I really don't. I really don't. That's going to, listen now, look. That uh book, not the book, but like the cookbook, that's going to have to be in the stove somewhere. I don't have time for it online. I really don't. However you do it, that's your business, as, as you say. But, honey, I don't. But anyway, y'all, that's all I wanted to talk about, okay? So, the seasoning is bomb. Now, this, excuse me. Now, this seasoning is going to be good on pretty much whatever you put it on because it's an all-purpose seasoning. But, honey, if you're a seafood lover, you love chicken, fish, seafood, shrimp, listen, get into it, get into it if you have it. But I just wanted to come on here real quick and just talk about one, my experience on ordering this and waiting for it, and two, my thoughts on it. It's really, really good, okay? And again, you get to taste each individual flavor and things like that, and it comes together so beautifully. It's not too much, it's not too sweet, it's not too uh, savory, it's just amazing. So, um get your emails on the waiting list on mccormick's website so that way you're notified when they come out with the second batch hopefully they come out with way more than they did this first batch i'm not sure how much they came out with but i don't know if they underestimated or if they were trying to do a little test run i'm not sure but now that they see how high in demand it is they low-key have no choice but to put it in stores like i don't see them just keeping it limited to online only like they're gonna have to put this in the stores they're gonna have to they really are. But that's all I want to say, y'all. Sunshine by Tabitha Brown. I'm so very proud of her. And it tastes really, 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 really good. Now, I don't play about my seasonings, my cooking, my eating, my food. I'll let y'all know. Even if this is my auntie, I'll let you know. Eh, wasn't what I thought. No, this this right here is good. I'm putting it on everything, all right? But I'm going to let y'all go about your day. And I'm going to go cool off because I'm looking like a honey bun right now. But that's okay. So I love y'all and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye. <laughs>